Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to... I don't know what we're going to look at. It's not an unboxing, it's not an unbagging, it's kind of just an exploration of D100 Space, a solo adventure RPG, or solo adventure game by Martin Knight. This is book one, which promises a book two, possibly. This is related to a previous and very popular uh, fantasy game called D100 Dungeon. Uh, has lots of expansions for it. Um, I, obviously, if you watch this channel, you know I'm, I'm definitely not as much into fantasy as I am into uh, science fiction. So when I saw this was coming out, I knew immediately I had to get a copy and share it with you because it's, it's, it's solo, it's sci-fi, and it's an adventure. And so we're going to kind of just take a quick look at the book. This is the, um, this is the perfect bound uh, uh, printing that you can order. There's, I believe, a hardback uh, version. You can order this off of uh, drive through RPG. I have the links in the video notes. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can order, I believe, a hardback. You can order the perfect bound version. You can order just a straight PDF. Uh, I have both. I have this and then I have I got the, the PDF version and I printed it out, put it into a binder, and uh, along with log sheets, and I will probably mostly play from this one, because um, it's, if it's a nice ready reference, and if there's changes, I can print changed pages and do that. But let's first look at the book here that you would get, the very nice, nicely bound and printed book. It's very high quality. I believe this one came from Drive Through RPG. Uh, Martin was nice enough to send it to me. Uh, essentially, in this, you are it's kind of it's kind of like a cross between an RPG, choose your own adventure, uh, random generated narrative builder system that you just you start out, you roll up your captain, and go from there. You find out what your mission is and uh, start exploring. So, a lot of tables. Obviously, not going to be a lot of dice rolling, a lot of randomization. Um, so this is, um, let's see, didn't have a page count here at the very end. The stat pages are not numbered. There we go. So we're about 120, I think it was 120 pages when I printed it out. So you're about 120 pages for the book. It is full color. Uh, D100 Space is a game in which you will steer a captain on a starship through a galaxy in search of fame and fortune. Your captain will com complete dangerous operations, trade, mine, and fight fierce space battles across many star systems. With each game, your captain will gain wealth, recognition, and become stronger and increasingly skilled in their pursuits. All you will need to play D100 Space is a pencil, eraser, a few dice, and your imagination. Can you survive the dangers of deep space? Space. I threw deep in there. So, all right. So we start out with very interesting artwork. Very good artwork. Um, so here are the. Uh, these are the things that are available from MK Games. I'm gonna actually yeah crack my binding. I hate doing that. Um, uh, might be nice to have this ring, you know, ring bound, so it would lay flat. Uh, so this tells you all the D100 books you can get. They have six books, whereas this is book one. They already have six books, which means this is hopefully going to have uh, more than one and uh, covering you know some of the same uh, topics, but in a sci-fi capacity. Um, some of these are available PDF only. Then you get the accessories. In the D100 Space series, which we're focused at, you got the D100 Space book one, which just came out in 2022. And then there's also um, three utilities you can buy. There's the mapping game, which is uh, I believe mapping tiles that you, will help you when you're, when you're exploring. You, you know, if you've got a T intersection, you can grab the T intersection and just lay it down, these uh, square cards, and put those in play that way. There's a tracker. Um, not sure what that is. And then there's the implants and patches, which is a, a deck of cards for the various uh, equipment that you can get in the game. So those, like I said, are available. You can download them and print them yourself. And, and if you're into print and play, or you can order them uh, prefab. I, I was hoping to cover those here in this video as well, but I've not had a chance to get those. So uh, very interesting. There's a space song. 
If you want to sing, to outer space we go, to outer space we go, faster than light, oh what a sight, to outer space we go, to infinity and beyond. Tips to surviving st space, navigating the stars is no easy feat and require a lot more grit and determination. Your captain will need a high intelligence value to control their starship, otherwise they will rely on a hired crew. Hired crew, however, expect to be paid, and so the captain will receive less reward when they are successful on a mission. When navigating star systems, drop in at starports as often as you can to top up on fuel and power, and always search the mission boards looking for the next favorable operation. Make good use of a table of Table X trading guide and search for suitable trade routes to maximize your profits. You will need to generate a good income from trading in order to progress your starship. Good luck, space awaits. So there have been a lot of there have been a lot of games, you know, along this line. They, from the '80s, there was one called um, Star Smuggler, which you're know, obviously playing a Han Solo type character because it was it was the early '80s. Um, but it was the same kind of principle. So it was a solo design game. You would you know, you'd move around. You're trying to take care of your starship and move around. It, uh, it's a, it's a it's a classic treasure. But uh, it's good to see that that vein is still. Uh, generating interest to that, that genre and that uh, now we've progressed to to games like this um, and, and others so uh, it looks like the layout is very nice um, you got a lot of table you really only have like 34 pages here um, of rules and how to proceed how to create your captain the starship designs how space combat works moving within the star system system how the dice work and that just takes you to page 34 and then you got the charts you got a section on drawing maps, how to, how to draw your maps. And then from there, it's all charts. Chart A, armor, chart B, bad events, C, career, and there, it's, it's kind of cool, the letters correspond for the most part to uh, what the title is. Uh, doors, enemy, facility, geographic, hyperdrives. Uh, and then you got trappings A, trappings B, trappings C, uncover, values, weapons, trading guide, cargo prices, star systems, and then the game sheets that you can photocopy, they're also available on uh, the website MK games.co.uk and I'll link that in the description so you can download the sheets as PDFs and then print them out as you know as many as you want and and I have done that uh, as I think I showed you here in the I've got the log sheets I've got multiple copies of that create one for my character I've got a log sheet <clears throat> which is my captain's basically player character reference and then the combat track, I double-sided that, and then the map we're going to be exploring. Now you get to them, and I assume this all comes about. All these numbers mean something for space travel. And then star systems and zones, all these planets, that are, are systems that are listed on here or on here with extra data about, about the planets, as well as a traversing space handy sheet, which gives you information on moving from system to system, space combat, kind of a player aid. So these are available at the back of the book, the bound book, if you get them, or if you get the PDF, you can just print them yourself, or you can download them from the website. So I hope to set this up and Kind of do a playthrough of a mission, uh, make sure there's you know no spoilers involved, um, but kind of share with you how to do this and uh, you know maybe get some input from you as you watch. Uh, basically, on creating a captain, how you create your player. There's three characteristics: strength, dexterity, and intelligence. And how you do that is you assign uh, 50, 30, and 40 to your choice. So you can you can you can make them stronger. You can make them more dexterous. You can make them more intelligent, and then you know you distribute the, the three numbers amongst those those three choices, and that's where you start, and then they they develop from there. Um, you create your your uh, race: human, alien, cyboids, which are human alien organisms fully integrated with cyber technology, which they rely on to keep them alive dominate D100 space and our captain will belong to one of those three races. So I like that they're not shying away from using race because uh, it's in its proper context. There is one race, the human race, and in, on, on Earth that we know of. So um, this is not talking about cultural distinctions. This is just talking about the true use of the word race. So um, 
skill bonuses, equipments. Again, lovely artwork throughout the book. How to take tests. Starships, different skills. We got stalking, enemy characteristics. Cybercon, cloaked, bound, block. Enemy abilities and how to handle them, how combat works. There's a hit location table, enemy reaction tables. Time track. Time is important to track on an away mission as the captain attempts to solve certain tasks. Time ticks away and there is a chance an enemy may surprise them or their night vision may need repowering or their oxygen tanks may need charging. Um, so that's cool that there, you know, time does play a factor in this. It's not just like, hey, we're just down here and blah, 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 blah. This just all happened and you know, nothing, there's no effect of anything. So that's, that's a neat inclusion. Doesn't sound like it's too much of a hassle to keep up with. Drawing the maps, see how that works here. The map sheet is divided into large squares. Each one is used for the areas you are generating. These large squares are in turn divided into nine smaller squares that will help you align exits and copy uh, areas from table F facility to the map sheet. So you roll and determine who went through this door, what's behind this door, oh, this, it's this, and there's you know a chart for that. So that's, that's pretty neat. It makes it easy even if you have no, no art skills that you can, can kind of draw. It reminds me of the, as a kid, I used to get puzzle books that had the, um, um, uh, you know, copy this image into this image, but it was divided into squares. So you just had to take this square and draw the contents of this little square into this little square. And when you were all done, you drew, you know, that image. So this makes it easier for people to just, to be able to draw, even if you don't have perhaps graph paper. So how the different terrain types work, uh, connecting by doors. Um, if a door from an area does not line up to any exits in an adjacent area, then the exit is blocked and may not be used, as you see here. Book. So sometimes you just have dead ends. All right, and then we get to our tables. So armor, roll D100, and this is the, the different armor types. Bad events table. Terminal explodes. The terminal explodes. Shrapnel hits the captain, causing a serious injury. Doors. Career. Some are D100, some are D1 to 6. Shade in all the stars shown for the captain's career in the log sheet. So if he's a Marine, he gets plus 10 strength. So if you gave him the 40, he would go up to a 50 if he became a Marine. Smuggler, you get increased dexterity, increased intelligence if he's a techno whiz. They use techno, I just said techno is, so don't let my exaggeration reflect poorly on Martin. Here's your enemy generation table, D100. A lot of, it looks like there's a hundred, there's actually a hundred different uh, types. And there's a few here that are ranged. You got freight rats, awesome, giant rats. I bet that's giant rats in the uh, in the dungeon version. So then our facility table shows you the different ways of, uh, you know, your nine by nine Sudoku grid is gonna be translated onto your master map as you're building your facility and exploring. So let's see, if you get a red one, you roll an encounter. That's what the different colors mean. Yellow, nothing happens. Green, you roll geographic for features, and blue, you have an objective, see mission. So, you see here, there is no blue. But you get here, the high numbers are blue, so you'll have objectives. Geographic table, it can be an energy ball booby trap, cyanide booby trap, falling crates booby traps. This is D100, so you've got a lot here of geographic features. A lot of thought went into this. Very excited to go through this and play it. Very, very cool. Operations, the various missions you can take. This place is a zoo. A collector of rare species has suffered a cargo breach on the military base Agax in the Randu system. And that's your mission. I got numbers. 
So it's looking like it's a very well fleshed out system. Obviously he's changed the genre from fantasy to of a successful fantasy uh, system to science fiction. Um, so but still a lot of imagination has gone into this to create a believable and fun to play world. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, so if you want to order the, the print book, it looks like it's very good quality. I mean, it is a very nice, uh, uh, nicely laid out, very clear, very easy to read. Here's your trading guide between different systems, what materials they want, have available prices. Let's set that up. It's very much like a video game in a board game. I used to love playing these kind of video games too. So there's the star systems guide that we, we had printed out. It's a larger version in the book. And then these are, again, the enemy abilities chart is in the back so you can quick reference to it. Log sheet and combat track. And then a map sheet, or you can of course use your own graph paper for that. This is, a, is available as well. So there's your entrance and then extra gridded stuff and then there's the star systems. So again, that is what the contents of D100 Space uh, looks like. Uh, again, I'm excited about uh, putting it through its paces. Um, this again is the perfect bound version. There is a, uh, I believe, like I said, a hardback and definitely a PDF if you just want to print it yourself or just read it on a tablet or a computer. Um, and just set up the play from that, print out just the sheet you need. Um, again, links will be in the description uh, of this video. And um, hope you pick up a copy and look for more videos. Subscribe and click, you know, click on the bell so when the videos come out, you will be made aware. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.